totally missed on hitting a desert ghost. This is all about breeding for the future. Man, they look so good. Hey guys, I'm Kai from Lucas Land and Royals. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, I want to give you an update on my koi pond. I have some footage of the koi from above and also below the water surface. That's right, I have some footage that I did from beneath the water of the koi and I'll show you that at the end of this video. I will say though, the water has cleared up tremendously and much quicker than I had expected. The only issue right now is that the water still has a little bit of a yellowish tint. So I might have to address that on another day. But first I want to focus on a aspect of the snake hobby. There's a saying, something along the lines of like put off or avoid instant gratification in order to achieve a long-term success. Now I think that's a business saying, but it applies to other things in life as well. And definitely I think it applies to our snake hobby. So one major aspect of our hobby is to have patience. So what I'm gonna show you are a couple clutches where you definitely need patience. The first clutch um, is a pastel lesser specter het desert ghost. And that was a male paired to a pastel desert ghost female. So out of that clutch, I was expecting half to be uh, desert ghost where desert ghost combos. Unfortunately, I can't definitively say if any of them are desert ghosts. In fact, I'm going to play safe and I'm going to say that none of them are desert ghosts except for maybe one. So desert ghost is one of those genes where you have to have patience. Sometimes right out of the egg, you can't tell if they're desert ghosts or not um, until they've had a few sheds. And then that's when they kind of exhibit that bright and clean desert ghost look. So I'm going to have to wait a little bit. Again, this is all about patience. Uh, but before we get to that clutch, what I like to do is kick this off with a egg pulling. Um, again, this is about patience. We are breeding for the future. So this breeding is going to be producing double hets for clown pied. So the goal here is to eventually make double visual clown pies. And of course that's been done before. You see plenty of them on morph market, but has it been done with the extreme gene? I put a pastel extreme gene clown to a fire pied. And so we got a clutch of eggs. Let's go into the snake room and see how many pearly white eggs we've got. All right, guys, you ready for this? I saw this girl this morning um, laying eggs. There were like two that were kind of pinkish um, and they were wet. So I figured she had just started and maybe she has one or two left. So that's why I didn't mess with her this morning. Uh, we are now at nighttime. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull her off. Uh, I saw four this morning. So let's see if she gave us any more than four. And she did, we got a fifth one. Awesome, check that out. Check that out. All right, so she was wrapped on pretty tight, so I'm pretty sure she's empty. I'm gonna go ahead and put her in a tub of water. Here is my egg box. And I'm just gonna put these in. See, there's a little bit of blood. We'll get rid of that later. Now, even though she did end up giving me five eggs, the last one had very little veins or no veins at all, to be honest with you. But I'm going to leave it in there and I'll check on it in a couple weeks. Uh, if it goes bad, then it goes bad and I'll have to throw it out. But at least I give it a chance. So these are going to go in the incubator now. So that was a decent sized clutch from a first time mom. I was hoping for maybe one or two more eggs, but I don't want to get too greedy there. Um, so now I just have to cross my fingers and hope that the odd gods are on my side and give me the correct sex ratio. Hopefully there's more females than males. 
so I can build that army. And probably in about two to three years, leaning towards a three year mark, um, I'll be able to breed some double visual clown pies. Again, this is a game of patience. So now let's go and revisit that desert ghost clutch that doesn't appear to have any desert ghost in the clutch. Uh, so let's take a look at those hatchlings. That looks like a boy. So we got one normal male het for desert ghost. Check that out. Very similar looking. Uh, these could possibly be just pastel. I don't think there's anything else. Um, and that's that's likely because we got pastel on both sides, on both the mom and the dad. So we got that head blushing there. We got that with the white lips. Same with this one. Nice colors though. You can see they look very, very similar. Let's check on, uh, on their sex here. All right, well that one looks like a girl. It's got cool, cool markings on the back. So that's a girl. And let's check on this one. That looks like a girl as well. Okay, so things are looking a little bit better. So the only two genes that would make an animal look like this in this gene pool would be a pastel specter. And you can see much, much cleaner in pattern. Still got a little bit of that dusting up here, but overall much cleaner, lighter head stamp, and doesn't want to come out. Come on, let's show the world. Check that out. Very pretty. So now let's see if you are a boy or a girl. That appears to be a boy. All right, so far we got two boys, two girls, two pastel girls. So the boys over there. So like I said, for now, this is just a lesser. I will hold on to this one for a little bit longer just to see what happens. But for now, let's take a look to see if this is a boy or a girl. And, hmm. Sorry, I can't see. It looks like a boy. So we have a lesser, possibly visual desert ghost boy. Hopefully this is a pastel specter desert ghost. I'd be happy if this is just a specter desert ghost, to be honest, because it doesn't look like a pastel desert ghost to me. And I've hatched a few of those. Take a look at the head, very blushed out. Could be a pastel specter desert ghost. And let's see if this is a boy or a girl. Either way, I'd be happy. That's a boy. I got my fingers crossed on that lesser. Hopefully the desert ghost will shine through. I'm gonna cut this video short. Make sure you stick around to the very end to see footage of the koi pond. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel and you wanna be informed of future uploads, make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. As always, thanks for watching. Please share and I'll see you guys next time.